Hi, my name is Gabriella Denry, MD, life coach at docworking.com. And today we are going to talk about overwhelm and what to do about it. And I'm Jill Farmer, one of the other coaches at Doc Working. And today, overcoming overwhelm, it's that place where you just feel like there's too much to do. Where do I start? And a really good question to ask yourself when you're feeling in that frozen place of overwhelm and not knowing where to start is to say to yourself, huh, what will my future self be glad it has made some progress on by the end of this day? It's just a really good discernment and direction tool, kind of a compass for your brain. And then be willing right in that moment to take the next best step. It doesn't have to be the perfect step. It doesn't have to be the most outstanding step. It's just the next best step that you can take toward achieving that thing that your future self is going to feel terrific about just for today that you've done. That helps keep you, again, your compass directed on stuff that matters and you're less likely to just be scattered and spinning out of control and not really getting to the stuff that makes a difference to you. Gabriella, I know a tool that you teach your physician clients and that you've used a lot in your life when you're feeling overwhelmed is to think about tasks in kind of 10 minute segments. Tell us more about that. Absolutely. And this is something that you and I talk about a lot as well is to really create tiny bites. It also depends on a person's learning style. So sometimes the brain can function, remain focused for multiple minutes at a time, perhaps an hour at a time. But other people function in short tasks and short 10 minute or five minute or even sometimes smaller chunks of time. And so use that to your advantage is what I'm thinking and how I coach around clients. Use that to your advantage. If your attention span literally is five minutes at a time, then do five minute tasks at a time. Break them down. And a lot of times we may think of a task as a one thing, but oftentimes it's multiple little things that are kind of hidden inside like a Russian doll. You have the big doll and you have all these little dolls inside. You want to know what the little dolls inside are, not just the big thing. So get to know the smallest doll, get that one out, and that's the one you're going to deal with first. Five minute, 10 minute, simple. Then you get to the next step because all of them will accumulate and all of them will build on each other. Yeah, the goal on overwhelm is to kind of get the ball rolling and letting momentum moving forward so you don't feel like you're carrying everything on your shoulders. Great ideas as always. We are so glad you're with us here because at Doc Working, we specialize in coaching physicians to achieve their best in life and medicine. We want you to go over to docworking.com today to sign up to join our community. Thanks to Board Vitals for partnering with us to bring you these important ideas. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. If you are interested in board vitals, you can click the link in the description to check out our website.